Well, hello, Anderson alumni, and welcome to Worldwide Welcome Week. I'm Jill Baldoff, Class of 81, Associate Dean Alumni Relations, and I'm thrilled to be able to introduce our brand new Dean, Dean Tony Bernardo. Tony. Hi, Jill. How are you? I'm well, thanks. Well, good. You seem to have survived the first three months in office. Uh, I wasn't this great, uh, <laughs> but I, I'm doing well. And I wasn't either. <laughs> So can you tell me why the heck you decided to be dean? You know, the most important thing is that I owe an incredible debt of gratitude to UCLA Anderson. Uh, my career and personal life have been greatly enriched by being here. Uh, I came here as a young assistant professor 25 years ago. I was accepted into this fantastic community of scholars. I think I was able to reach my scholarly potential. Uh, my kids grew up on campus, part of a great community of friends with faculty and students that I've met over the over the years. So I, I, I'm so happy to be part of this great place. Tell me, what surprised you in the first three months of being here? Thinking about it, I'm surprised I was surprised. Um, <laughs> the depth of feeling that all uh, faculty, staff, students, alums, and supporters have for the school is really quite tremendous. Mm -hmm. I felt great support and really uh, a willingness for everyone to help uh, make Anderson succeed. Well, that's great. That's a wonderful surprise to have. So, Tony, you've been here for three months. So what do you think are the challenges and opportunities facing Anderson? I think we have great opportunities. Uh, we're part of a dynamic region, Los Angeles, mm -hmm. that a lot of students from around the world uh, want to come to. We're part of one of the greatest public uh, institutions in the world, UCLA. There are tremendous faculty and students all across campus that we can partner with. And uh, there's a lot of activity in areas uh, that we have strengths in. There are growing areas that our students want to uh, pursue careers in, like technology, healthcare, and so on. These are core strengths at UCLA and UCLA Anderson, mm -hmm. and I think we're uniquely positioned to take advantage of those opportunities. Well, we have an army of 40,000 plus alumni. How can we help you achieve those goals? There's so much that our alums can uh, teach and help our students our students with. They can uh, help them understand career choices, what are the real great, really great opportunities in the region, and help make those connections. So they're really uh, in greatly enhancing the value of the program. And then from the perspective of the alums, it's always great to be part of a network of very talented uh, people who are not only uh, doing extremely well in their careers, but are also helping to build the community. So there's great, I think, personal and career fulfillment to being associated with such a talented and diverse group of individuals. Well, that's terrific. Obviously, if you're seeing this today, you are an engaged alum, and we want to keep you engaged because the Alumni Network promises that we will always be there to move you forward and upward in your career, and we welcome uh, engagement with students also on campus. We have a lot of alums who are very interested in community service and not-for-profit, and they kind of want to know, what does UCLA Anderson do? How, how can they give back? What's their public mission? One of the great things about UCLA is that it's a public university, and one of its most important missions is to the community in the region. And I would love to see us do more in that regard. For example, I think our research centers should be more engaged in public policy issues that are important in the region. For example, uh, homelessness is a big issue Please, in, yes. uh, in the region. I'd love to see our students and alums more engaged with the community. Yeah. There are so many uh, businesses, local businesses, for example, who could use our student expertise, mm -hmm. perhaps in field study projects. There are not-for-profits uh, in the uh, region that could use our management expertise to in, improve the way they function. So there's so many ways I think we can contribute to our public mission, and I think that should be a real source of pride of being part of, of UCLA. That would be wonderful. I would love to see that happen. So I understand you share a passion with our namesake, John Anderson, who went to UCLA on, of all things, an ice hockey scholarship. I learned that many years ago, and frankly, I was very surprised. Coming from Canada, <laughs> right. uh, I thought uh, that was uniquely our domain. Uh, but um, I grew up playing hockey. I almost had to <laughs> growing up in Toronto. I played uh, many, many years when I was in Toronto and came to California thinking that I would dominate uh, the leagues that I joined and found quickly that uh, that wasn't the case. There were actually a lot of transplanted Canadians and Northeasterners who came to California and I found that there were really many, many great players and I didn't stand out nearly as much as I'd hoped. Well, and as far as I can tell, you still have all your teeth, so good for you. <laughs> They're not real. <laughs>
<laughs> well, Tony, thank you. This was such a pleasure. I know that all 40,000 Anderson alums are going to really enjoy hearing directly from you what your vision of the school is. So I wish you the best of luck. Thanks, Jill. And I'm looking forward to meeting all 40,000 of them. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs>